subscribe, subscribe. This video is sponsored by Card Market, Europe's largest online marketplace for trading card games. Alright, special market review time. To commemorate the release of OP06 in English, this week's market review video will be a little different. We're going to be focused solely on OP06 and its initial value and then we're going to take a look in like a week or two to see how the prices stabilize from that point on. And I also have a new tab that I want to show off that I want to get your guys' opinion on and to double check my math. <laughs> but yeah, before I get started, um, if you guys like what you see and want access to this dashboard I have here, you can get access to it by being a Marketeer patron on my Patreon. And you'll have access to the dashboard for as long as you're a marketeer tier patron. All right, let's move on to the first tab that I want to go over here. I already have it filtered by OP06. I sorted it by current price, TCG player current price. We just take a look at all the card prices right off the bat just to see, set a baseline for us. So most expensive card, who would have guessed it? It's Mongo Zoro. Uh, it's a Mongo rare that starts off over a thousand. I guess the precedent was set with the post past, past <laughs> manga rares being over a thousand already right i remember op01 shanks was like 600 but yeah since all the manga rares are like hovering a thousand now zoro just starts off at 1.6 uh he went down since i only have two days of 06 data the 15th and 16th so yeah he went down 130 dollars since yesterday and then the next highest is yamato green yellow yamato not necessarily the most meta leader but a fan favorite character for sure so that explains why Yamato is so high and I think a lot of people are hyped to try out Yamato in the beginning of the set. But if it follows how the Eastern meta went, uh, I think Yamato's, Yamato's like play rate does go down quite a bit. But up next we have Treasure Rare Nami, who lost almost half her value from yesterday to today. If I recall correctly, Treasure Rare Nami is a lot less rare than people thought. They thought it was going to be like a uh, signed Oda Luffy level of rarity, but it's actually... Okay, don't quote me on this. I don't know if it's official or not, but it's like guaranteed one per case, I heard. Again, could be wrong. I don't know, but I got a couple boxes and I didn't find one, so it's rare for me. <laughs> but yeah, 140 for uh, Treasure Rare Nami. And yeah, a lot of people don't like the art on the card. And I don't know, like I feel like the more that people hate the card, kind of the more that I want it for some reason. So yeah, hit it all you want. Make the price go down all you want. It just makes me want to maybe potentially pick up a, a copy or two for myself. <laughs> Then up next is SP Rebecca, 133, then Altart Perona, 130, and then Kekomoria, Altart, 115. Probably the most meta of the leaders in 06, but kind of in the middle price wise. And then Reju, following right after at 111. So yeah, all, all of the viable meta leaders so far over 100, starting off at over 100, so kind of expected. And then all the SP cards seem to be pretty high too. Buggy and 10 cost Big Mom up over 100. And then Onami Altart, 95, just under 100. It's a Nami card and it's usable in Katakuri and Enel deck, so that explains why. Miss All Sunday up next at 91. It's a Robin card, but Purple is uh, out of meta right now, so could see her come back up in price in the future. Yeah, I expect her to go down from here, but then back up once Purple is meta again. The Kosuke Komoria Altart is up to, it's up $22 since yesterday. For some reason, it was $67. This is uh, the meta card in 06, so that explains that. 2k counter Perona also the next highest. Ooh, Reju is quite expensive too at 83, even though Reju's effectiveness won't be too apparent until uh, probably EV01, right? Because Red Purple Law utilizes Reju really well. Well, I guess Red Purple Blue Reju utilizes Reju really well, but who Altar Secret Rare Zoro at 68, uh, drops from 83 to 68. That's the next highest after Reju. Then we have Red Purple Uta. Is there another leader after this? Yeah, Uta might be the cheapest leader here at 62. Dropping $22 since yesterday. SP Sugar, Sanji, Altart. Ooh, he already is at 50. SP Borsalino. Quite cheap. Sakazuki still does run. 7 cost Borsalino. And this, this version of the card has him eating ramen. Why would, why would it be so cheap? It was like $11 yesterday. Yeah, this one's an anomaly to me. Why is he so cheap? And then Momonosuke here, $36. Altart Hody Jones is $36 as well. And then the leader, oh, okay, the leader. 
Cody Jones is the cheapest of the leaders in 06 at 35. Alter Tishigi also quite cheap even though it's a staple in Sakazuki now. Ichiji also quite low, 28. Even though I really like the art on this card actually. Secret Zoro also down. Or base art Gekko Moria is more expensive than quite a few of the alt arts <laughs> at 25. He's more expensive than the Film Searcher Luffy, Shiraya. Shiraya should go up once EB01 comes out too, because Red Purple Law uses him really well. Judge is 20, only usable in the Reiju deck. Shanks is 20. Kami is quite low too, and then uh, regular Reiju, base art Reiju, $15. Regular Sanji, 14. Regular Hyori, 14. Oh, that's higher than I thought it would be. Hyori at 10. Yeah, that's pretty much the rest of 06. And then once we get to the non SRs, these are just staples like Kikunojo, Onami. Ooh, Shanks is the cheapest SR at a dollar. Oh, actually, I filtered for a dollar. There might be some that are under. But yeah, we'll just keep it at a dollar for now. Poor Shanks. One dollar Shanks. Yeah, this is our baseline for 06. It looks like yesterday the price was higher than it is today. It did drop quite a bit. So the set started out at $4,293 in total and then dropped to $3,940. I do expect the prices to keep dropping. And actually, there's two Dawn cards in this set. I didn't know that. I thought it was just uh, it was like a Zoro and Sanji one, right? Okay, these are from the double pack, so there's no images for it yet. I didn't buy any double packs, so I don't know what they look like. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the tab that I want to show off. So this is the tab, uh, I'm going to call it the like expected value tab, where I calculate the expected value of the cards and then of the uh, type of boxes you can get. And I'll like compare it to the lowest price of a box that you can buy currently and tell you if it's worth it or not to buy a box of a particular set. I only have data for 06 set up right now. But yeah, here is what the table will look like. I would like you guys to help me verify if my logic is correct and the math is correct. It makes sense in my head, but it could be wrong. So from what I can gather, looking at everyone else's pools, uh, the 06, the 06 makeup of boxes seems to be broken down into like five categories. It's either a box with two alt arts, uh, alt art and a secret rare, alt art secret rare and an SP card, alt art secret rare and a leader, or alt art, alt art and a leader. If there's any variations I missed, please let me know. But until further notice, I only saw these five different kind of variations for boxes. So because of that, I calculated the probability of hitting a particular card, depending on which variation that you get for your box. And then with that probability, I multiply it by the value of the card. And then that gives me the total kind of estimated value of a particular box per variation. So for example, in this expected value AA, AA column, which is a double alt art column, you get seven SRs and then you'll get two alt arts, right? So it would be better if I show you the spreadsheet I used to calculate this, right? So we get two alt arts, right? And then there's 18 to pick from between all the characters and then the secret rares too have alt art versions. I'm, I'm assuming these are included in the pool of alt arts. So the probability of pulling any single one of these is two out of 18, right? Because you'll get two AAs in this variation of boxes. And that gives me 11.11%. So I just multiply that by the market price and that gives me their like expected value. And then for the SRs, I think in all variations, you get at least seven. So I calculated that as seven out of 10, right? Because there's 10 to pick from, 10 SRs. And that gives me an expected probability of 70%. And then the values here correspond accordingly, respectively. So the, uh, so the expected value of a double alt art only box is $146 if I add all these expected values together. And then likewise, same calculations for like, let's say uh, the SP plus alt art plus secret rare box. So in this box, we only get one alt art character. So I have that probability as one over 18 times the market price. And then for the SP cards, I have that as one divided by six because there's you have a one in six chance of hitting any particular one of these SP cards. And then for the secret rare, I have that as one out of two because there's only two you can get, Sanji or Zoro. And then plus the 70% uh, chance SR. That gives me a total value of $215. And another way you can think about this is that this is just the average of the uh, market prices, right? Let me double check that. So if I sum this, $44, and if I average this, Yep, 44, 44. I don't know if it's too like zoomed out for you guys to see, but yeah, 
the sum of the expected value is just the average of the uh, prices for a particular category. So let me know if that math makes sense and, and if I'm calculating the expected value correctly that way. But with that in mind, with that assumption, this is the chart I created in my dashboard for that. So the expected value of a double alt art box is 146. The expected value of an alt art secret rare box is 123. The expected value of an alt art secret rare SP card box is 215. And then alt art secret rare and leader is 233. And then leader double alt art is 256. That's the most expensive variant you can get. And then this part, I'm not too sure if it's correct or not, but if I just average these five numbers, does that give you the average value of a booster box in OP06? Because that would assume that uh, all five of these variations are equally distributed, right? There's a 20% chance to get either one. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe Altart Secret Rare SP is more rare than Double Altart. That's the part that I, I'm not sure of completely. But if we're going to go off that assumption that they're all equally distributed, then yeah. The average price of a booster box in 06 should be 195. So if we take a look at how much a booster box is going for, so I have it here. The lowest listed price for an OP06 booster box is 220, $221 to be exact, or $220.99 to be exact. So if we take a look at our chart, if the expected average value of a booster box in 06 is 195, it is completely not worth it to pick up a box right now at $220. At $220, you only make money if you get a leader secret rare alt art box or a leader double alt art box. And this is on average too. You could potentially pull like the two cheapest alt arts and then lose <laughs> quite a bit of money. With the alt art secret rare SP box, you do come kind of close. But yeah, if you get double alt art or alt art secret rare, you're like losing quite a bit of money. The alt art secret rare box is almost like half the value of a 06 unopened box right now. So because of that, honestly, I'd recommend buying singles still for this price at 220. And this is assuming the way I'm thinking about it is correct. So please let me know if it's not and I'll adjust accordingly. And also I'm not accounting for the treasure rare Nami or the uh, Manga Zoro, right? Because the probability of getting these in a singular booster box is, I think, too low to expect any sort of like expected value out of them. So I just treated them as, as if they didn't exist for now. But yeah, that is the new feature that I wanted to show. I even show uh, by card the expected value. So if I treated this Altart Zoro as a double Altart, it would be $7.57. But if I treated him as a singular Altart, he's $3.78. So yeah, I hope this is a cool new feature. Hope you guys could find some use out of it. This is still in a work in progress state. I'm not going to have it live just yet until I can finalize the logic. But once I do have it finalized, it's going to update every day with the current market price from TCG Player. So key takeaway from this video is if this math is correct, if this logic is correct, it is currently not worth it to buy a booster box sealed. At this point, you're pretty much gambling and the odds aren't in your favor. There's only two box variations that you get your money's worth. Then there's three that you don't. You lose quite a bit on two of them, actually. So honestly, just buy singles. If this screws over any like scalpers, resellers and flippers who bought like 50 cases to sell on TikTok shop or whatever, I am completely fine with that. You guys can suck a fat one. I'm standing on business here to ensure that you guys lose money from trying to scalp this game, right? Bandai already made their money selling those products to them. So it's up to us as the consumers who didn't get a plethora of product like they did to disencourage that kind of behavior. Because as long as we keep buying booster boxes at these inflated prices from them, they'll keep doing it every set. So. This is my way of helping with that, I guess, that crusade that a lot of people are trying to fight. So please do share this video around. But in the end, it's just a freaking card game. <laughs> so let's not take it too seriously. But yeah, special shout out to old man McD from the Discord for suggesting this kind of feature. And yeah, I hope this new feature potentially entices you to maybe subscribe as a marketeer patron. You get to see any cool new stuff I get to build into the dashboard. And you'll get to see it on a daily basis. You don't have to wait for me to make these videos. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. And again, we'll check in on the 06 prices and we'll do like a regular market review. Maybe a week, a week or two later. So for now, thanks for watching. And then if you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate a subscribe. I'm not going to try to guilt you or anything. Literally, it just gives me a dopamine hit when that number goes up. So just going to be transparent about it. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.